In this problem, we're given the circumference of a baseball, and we're asked to find what its mass would be if it had the same density as a proton or a neutron, both of which have the same density. So the first thing I'm going to do in this problem is figure out what the volume of the baseball is, because we need the size of the volume if we want to figure out the density. So first I'm going to figure out uh, the radius of the baseball. So a circumference of a sphere or a circle is equal to 2 times pi times that radius. So if we want to solve for the radius, then we can algebraically rewrite this to say that r is equal to the circumference divided by 2 pi. We get that result by taking the circumference formula and dividing both sides of it by 2 pi to get the r on its own. And we'll do that, and we'll, we'll put this formula in, we'll put that into our calculators, 23 centimeters divided by uh, 2 pi. And I'm actually going to write this as 0 0.23 meters. This is because meters is far more common and far more useful in physics problems, because meter is used more than centimeters. So if you're given a, an amount in centimeters and you want to convert it into meters, just take it and multiply it by 10 to the power of negative 2. So that's 0.23 meters divided by 2 pi. And we can see that the circumference of the sphere, or the, the radius of the baseball, is equal to 0 0.0366. And then there are probably some more decimal spaces in your calculator, so hold on to them. And now to find the volume of the baseball using the radius, the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. So now that we have the radius, uh, the radius in meters, we can plug this into our formula for the volume using 4 thirds and pi, and we find that the volume of this sphere is equal to about 0 0.000. 205 meters cubed, something like that. Again, there's probably more or less precision depending on your calculator. Just make sure you're saving those values and using them, using those values in your next equations. But this will give us the volume of the baseball. So if we want to find the mass of the baseball, then let's first remind ourselves of the density equation. Density is equal to mass over volume. So if we want to find the mass of the ball, let's rewrite this. So that means that m, the mass, is equal to the, the density times the volume. And the volume of the baseball we just found, that's just equal to this whole thing right here. But the problem is asking us is to have the density be equal to the density of a proton or a neutron. So again, density is mass over volume. So you'll have to look up what the mass of a proton and the, and the volume of a proton is. So if you look it up, you'll see that the, uh, the mass of a proton is equal to about 10 to the power of negative 27 kilograms. You might find different values online depending on what, what source you're looking at or depending on how it's rounded. But this is a, a good enough approximation if we're looking for like just an estimate here. And as for the, um, the, the volume of the proton or of the neutron, then you're, you're probably less likely to have that come up, and you're probably less likely to be given that in a textbook. But you are pretty likely to be given the, the diameter of the proton or the diameter of the neutron. So instead, we're just going to use the volume formula that we used to find the volume of the baseball. So we're going to divide this mass by 4 thirds, 4 over 3, times pi, times the cube of the radius of the nucleon. And you'll probably find that the radius of a neutron or a proton is equal to about 10, or the diameter is equal to about 10 to the power of negative 15 meters. So we'll divide this by 2, to turn it into a radius, since diameter is twice the radius, and then cube this whole thing that we have in the parentheses here.
So this entire big term that I have here represents the density of the nucleon. So we take all of this and we multiply it by V, the volume that we found previously. And if we do that, we find a value for the ball's mass of about 4 times 10 to the power of 14 kilograms. Now, in your calculator, you might get something a little different. Like, it might say, like, 3.99 or, or 4.01 or, or, or something along those lines. But we're using some rough estimates here, and the problem doesn't even give us all the values to use. So there, there's a bit of freedom here. There's a bit of leeway. But this is a rough approximation of the value you end up with. So there's some leniency. But that's the mass of the, of the baseball in this case. That is all for this problem. If this video helped you out, please consider subscribing, as it'll help me make more videos like this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. But that's all for this video, and I hope you have a lovely night. Bye-bye.